Hey guys, just me. Uh, I wanted to show you some cool stuff I just got in the mail that I'm going to eventually do either some sort of review or, you know, just talk about in some point in my channel. So I have Junji Ito's Remina, which is a compilation of his uh, reoccurring series uh, Hellstar Remina, which is kind of hard to explain, but basic gist of it is a planet starts appearing in the sky and at first it seems like a meteor and uh it turns out it actually is way worse than uh, uh just a random meteor because it starts killing other planets it starts uh hurting people making them go crazy uh, it literally starts eating planets it's basically the best way that junji ito has ever tackled um Essentially, like, a Lovecraftian-style, uh, otherworldly dimension thing. And, in fact, I would argue he actually did it better than Lovecraft. Because Lovecraft kind of is very vague. And if anyone follows Junji Ito's work, there's one thing he's not, and it is subtle and vague. He just flat out makes your worst nightmares come true. So, I have yet to read the full story. I've read most of it. Um, a lot of it was never translated into English, at least uh, I couldn't find. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. Uh, next up, we have Takeshi Miike, who is uh, one of my favorite filmmakers. Uh, he made Ichi the Killer, Audition, uh, a lot of horror things, but he's actually holds the record for most adaptations in live action. And every adaptation he's ever actually done of an anime property into live action has been successful financially and critically. Uh, between fans and everything, he's done the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure one. He did, oh, I forgot, so many other ones. Um, but this is uh, an original movie he made years ago. And uh, it's kind of hard for me to find uh, this one. Because Zebraman is basically his take on Sentai. Uh, basically like, you know, Kamen Rider or Power Rangers. But it's got more of a darker edge to it. Uh, and it's a guy who's a complete loser getting these powers. So it's a comedy, but it's also a kind of obviously it's a it's a throwback to old Sentai. But I'm I remember seeing it and laughing and having so much fun watching it. Uh, I for some reason Zebraman Two is extremely easy to find, but Zebraman One was such a pain for me to find. So I'm definitely going to be doing a full review at some point of Zebraman and eventually other Takeshi Miike works. But um, I got that in the review pile for sure. Next is a book that I found that was just released. Uh, they sold this at uh, Barnes & Noble for a ridiculous amount. Uh, they were selling this for like 40, like 30 something bucks, like 40 something bucks. It is a... Manga with yokai story. Manga yokai stories. Ghastly Tales from Japan. For those of you that don't really know what yokai are, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically, uh, imagine all the folklores that we have in America, and they're based off of some sort of uh, old school legend. And Japan also has their own versions of old school legends. However, their beings end up becoming other creatures known as yokai, similar to kind of demons or kind of um, creatures. This is a compilation of their folklore done by several different manga artists, and it's a really fascinating read. I, I've read, I've seen bits and pieces of it. I know a lot of these yokai stories um, by heart, like the snakehead woman and the kappa and certain ones like that. But I'm really looking forward to really just sitting down and, you know, just getting some time alone, just reading this. It seems like it's a really great artwork by, uh, Lofseado Harn. Oh no, I'm sorry. By Inko I Taka uh, Takiti. Inko I Takiti. That's, that's the name. Um, it looks really interesting, and like I said, when I got this, I got it actually really cheap on sale at, um, uh, I got this all on rightstuff.com, by the way, but, uh, th this is, uh, I got this for the sale that they were having, uh, about a month ago, and it just came in the mail, 
and it was, I believe, $11, and it, it's ridiculously priced everywhere else. I recommend checking out either Amazon or writestuff.com, because you'll most likely find it for a cheaper rate, but don't go to, like, Barnes & Noble for, like, manga, unless it's something you really need. But, um, yeah, I got it for, like, a, like $12, and it's a pretty decent-sized book for that price. Next, I have a series I absolutely love. I do already have the uh, original Blackjack series on DVD, which I'm so ecstatically happy that I finally own it, especially because it was so hard to find. And now I have the prequel series, which was made... When was this made? Like a few years ago? I watched this so much when it came out, when it was streaming. I watched it on Crunchyroll, and I really, really loved it. It's Young Blackjack. Blackjack is the story of a surgeon who is the ultimate surgeon in the world. He actually gets his medical license stripped away from him. And he, it's mostly just for political reasons. Like he didn't actually do anything wrong. And he goes around the world. Everyone pays him exorbitant amounts of money. And he will only do sur surgeries for those that will pay insane amount of money, and then he will use that money to help those less fortunate. So think of him like a surgical version of Robin Hood. And this is his origin story retold in a way that actually makes it very satisfying for longtime fans of Blackjack. So this is a must if you actually like the series Blackjack. This is a really good way to start into it. And it's just an overall good series. It's about 12 episodes long, and it's from Sentai Filmworks. And finally, the most underrated series that Clamp has ever made. And I fight anyone who says otherwise, because everyone knows Cardcaptor Sakura and Tsubasa Chronicles and all of these other series, but Angelic Lair is a great, great series that is never given its due. Oh, Roxafon is the other series I'm thinking of. They've made so many shows, like you can just tell from their art style how they are. This series, Battle Doll Angelic Lair, I used to love reading this manga when I was younger. It's a great show to show younger kids, and it was such a good deal, I kind of had to get it. Um, to be honest, I haven't watched the series in so many years, and the fact that it came out on Blu-ray, I just kind of jumped on it. Uh, what it's about is there are these things called dolls. They're small little things about the size of an action figure, and they literally battle each other. Now, I know that sounds really generic, but there's kind of more to it. I just don't really want to get into details of spoilers, but there's a lot of mythos behind it. There's a lot of um, kind of, like I said, it's a really great show, especially for younger little girls to get into, or, you know, younger uh, fans of... Or if you ever want to show little kids an anime and, you know, it's something that they couldn't kind of attach to that a lot of people don't ever talk about. Because everyone talks about Dragon Ball Z or Sailor Moon to death. But this is a show I recommend showing the younger kids that they would really dig. So that's my whole set I got right here. I want to say I spent about, let's see, what did I spend? Like maybe like a little over 40 bucks. I got it on sale on rightstuffanime.com. I will leave a link in the description of this video, but uh, I know it's not really a shopper's quest or unboxing, but I figure it's a quick little vlog that you guys can, you know, see what I got. <laughs> Just kind of little content you guys can enjoy. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time.